Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Uh, the weather today um, in northwest Leicestershire, um, it's been windy, um, it was raining earlier, but um, it has been sunny, so it's been ever changing <laughs> really today, up to now. Uh, today I'm going to be doing Travel News UK 5 Exciting Facts April 2022 Part 1. So I'm going to kick right off with the BBC news at Manchester Airport Chief stands down after travel chaos. Uh, number unfortunately, um, number two, Stansted Airport offers passengers advice admit staff shortages bbc news um number three british airways and each jet cancellations at uk airports are thrown into chaos as airlines ground flights uh, flight flight cancellations at cross channel Rail delays and uh, miles of lorries queuing uh, for ferries continue, uh, continued into Monday. Manchester, London and Heathrow airports um, have seen widespread delays after EasyJet cancelled 62 flights and British Airways uh, caught um, 115 of its uh, journeys um, this Monday. It comes after chaotic weekends uh, for both airports um, as school Easter holidays get underway. Um, number four, The Guardian. What is um, being behind the disruption um, at UK airports, COVID-19 sudden uh, lifting of UK uh, pandemic restrictions has resulted in soaring demand for travel. Uh, this is accompanied by huge increase in co uh, uh, COVID cases across the UK, to which um, aviation staff are obviously um, not immune. Sickness rates have uh, contributed to problems for airports, but um, airports such as Manchester uh, Airport and um, basically are mainly struggling uh, to recruit uh, the staff quickly enough to meet the demand for the busiest Easter getaway since 2019. Uh, British Airways um, has uh, recently been hit by a reoccurrence of it. its issues uh, when a uh, flight is cancelled or delayed uh, by uh, three hours or more pass uh, passengers um, are entitled to compensation of up to £220 if the distance involves um, 1,500 kilometres or less, for example, domestic flights, say um, from the UK to Spain, for instance, um, rising to 524 uh, some long uh, haul journeys unless the cause of extra circumstances like bad weather or, or uh, terrorism. Passenger um, delays less than three hours are not entitled to any compensation, unfortunately. Um, so... Um, Number five, uh, The Guardian, uh, 12 destinations uh, mar marketing the arrival of modernist Britain. Number one, um, the city of London churches. Number two, Blackpool Tower. Um, I've been to Blackpool Tower and um, in my opinion, it's definitely well worth um, a visit. Langar, where I've also been. 
um, which is absolutely beautiful with its castle and um, estuary and uh, clan Stefan, Carmarthenshire homes and landscapes that inspired two great Welsh modernists, Dylan Thomas and Kareech Rise. Uh, you can also mile the turf and tie long estuaries. Uh, the Duchess of Hamilton uh, tr um, train, National Railway uh, State National Railway Museum York is number four. Number five, Coventry Cathedral. And um, number six, uh, Modern gallery victoria and albert museum london and uh, number seven uh, beyond bloomsbury bloomsbury workshops um in fitzdrover uh, london see uh, portraits of the whole clan beyond bloomsbury and um, number eight darlington or Yes, Dartington Hall Estate, Devon. Um, number nine, Tinside, Lydell and Plymouth at City Centre. Uh, beautiful swimming pools and Lido. Um, it, again, it looks like on photos. Number 10, at tube stations at London take a, a modernised theme ride on the underground number 11 uh, the homeward um, isha sorry dreamily woodland garden designed to suggest uh, layers of uh, painted um uh, last but not least hope street liverpool liverpool's metropolitan cathedral uh, to go and uh, see while she at Liverpool. Um, so, yes, there's lots of lovely places and interesting places on there. Um, some I have uh, been on. I've been on a, a tube um, a long time back um, in London. Um, but um, if I did ever go to Lon uh, London again, I would lo uh, love to go on the modernised scene ride of the underground again. I think that would be really exciting. Um, uh, um, so I would like to say um, thank you for watching. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow for... Um, another video on uh, uh, basically uh, re reducing uh, your cost um, of travel so it's going to be another budget travel special tomorrow so bye for now and have a good day or night wherever you are in the world thank you and bye for now bye